Hello dear students, actually I know that you are not in hilarious mood because actually we are time, very, we are passing very monotonous time and you know, actually time is the uh, most blessings of our Creator, Allah. So if you can use the time properly, you can develop yourself. Today, I know it very well that actually arranged class and online class are not same but I believe if you can concentrate on this class you will get a big benefit and today I just want to discuss about transformation especially it is included in your ASSC second paper English and it is very important not uh, in the field of writing but you will get the benefit if you want to develop your skill in uh, speaking, writing, so it is very important. And today, uh, I just want to discuss you about simple complex compound sentence. At first, you should know about the characteristics of these three categories of sentences. And you know, structurally, sentences, structurally sentences three kinds, simple, complex and compound. So at first, you should know about the characteristics of these three sentences. Suppose, simple sentence. What are the characteristics of making a simple sentence? And how will you define that, whether it is a sentence or not? Actually, sentence depends on something. What is that? At first, you need subject, then verb. Subject and verb is very important for making a sentence. It is very important. And, you know, uh, if you get a subject and a verb, you can think that it is a sentence. Of course, it has to have a completeness. Without getting a complete meaning, you cannot say that it is a sentence. So, you have to have a completeness and of course, you have to ensure whether it has a subject and a verb. Whatever verb, there are different kinds of verb. You know, this one, finite, finite verb. And finite verb is very important. Find verb indicates the completion of a sentence or completeness. So, find verb is very important. In a simple sentence, you will get a one subject and one finite verb. One subject and one find verb. Of course, it has to have completed thought. Without getting completed thought, you cannot say that it is a sentence. So, of course, in a simple sentence, you will ensure that whether it has a single subject and of course, a single final verb. And that means if we, if we, if we want to have a clear conception about a structural sentence, you need the idea of subject, the idea of verb and the idea of clause. These three things are very important for getting a clear conception of Simple, complex and compound sentence. Simple, complex and compound sentence. And you know, actually, when we speak with somebody, when you want to exp uh, express our thinking in writing, you need to have a good command on these three sentences, this is structurally simple, complex and compound. And if you want to have a good comment on these three types of sentences, of course you have a clear conception about subject, verb and clause. That is very important. Subject, you know very well. What is subject? Actually subject performs the action. Subject performs the action that is called subject and verb. Verb actually completes the thought or completes the sentence. And what is clause actually? You should have a good conception about clause. What is clause actually? And clause is a part of a sentence. Clause is a part of a sentence. If I say it is a part of a sentence, you may be confused. You may be confused about what? About uh, differentiating between clause and phrase. Phrase is also a part of a sentence. Clause is also a part of a sentence. So what are the differences between clause and phrase? In clause, you will get actually full characteristics of a simple sentence. That means in a clause, you will get subject. You will get finite verb. 
actually these are the characteristics of a sentence in a clause you are getting subject verb verb but in phrase phrase is a group of words phrase is a group of words it can be used as a part of a sentence but it cannot ensure the completeness it cannot ensure the complete thought so you will not get completed thought in phrase because it has no final verb it cannot express the complete thought but it can be used as a part of a sentence but clause in clause you will get subject final verb that means in a simple sentence you are getting a subject and final verb and of course in clause you are getting subject and final verb that means clause is used as a part of a sentence actually clause itself a sentence but it is connected with a sentence and in this way clause just uh, ensures different types of sentences actually how many clauses you will get there are actually you can say three types of clauses sometimes you can say two types of clauses what are they number one main clause or principal clause principal clause number 2 subordinate or dependent clause number 3 coordinate clause this there are three types of clauses and main clause subordinate clause or coordinate clause there are three types of clauses you will get in simple complex or compound sentence i told you before my dear students actually this idea to many students it is a very complicated thing actually why it is complicated thing the students uh, feels very scared when they uh, see that i have to interchange among a uh, simple complex compound they become scared why because they have to memorize some important characteristics of these sentences but it is very important and easy to easy to memorize easy to recollect all the characteristics of these sentences it is not very tough if you just think only some special characteristics of these three sentences main clause in main clause you will get a single subject and a find verb and it is completely independent it is completely independent and if you say uh he went to college this is the criteria of a simple sentence why this subject and this is find verb this is subject and this is find verb and here you will get a completeness so it is a sentence that is simple sentence if you say do he was ill he went to college here you are getting two parts and both these two parts contains the full criteria of a sentence here you will notice a subject and a find verb here you are getting a subject and a find verb that means you are getting full criteria of a simple sentence that means you can denote in this way this is a simple sentence this is a simple sentence and these two parts are connected with though it is a conjunction that means though you are getting the full criteria of a simple sentence you cannot say that you are getting the completeness or completed thought how though he was ill it does not indicate that it is a completed thought it is dependent on another thought all the criteria you are find here that means he was ill but you cannot say that it is a completed thought and it is itself a sentence unless we are telling that he went to college that means this part is completely dependent on this part so which word which one makes is dependent though though makes the part dependent on this part so 
do is a conjunction and what type of conjunction actually it is subordinate conjunction it is a subordinate conjunction this part this part actually indicates subordinate clause and this is main clause that means subordinate clause is completely dependent on the main clause main clause does not depend on anything that means you are getting full criteria some sentences of both these two parts but one part is completely dependent on another part in this way you can say that actually this part is dependent this part is independent if you find this type of criteria of any sentence you can call it a complex sentence you can call it a complex complex sentence so in complete if you want to make any complex sentence you have to create a dependent clause and an independent clause in this way you can create a complex sentence of course next i will discuss you in detail and then if i want to make any compound sentence what will i do compound that you have you have to add you have to add compound sentence if i say here plus that means we are adding something we are adding something here if i say he was ill but went to college actually this is a very special criteria special characteristics of making compound sentence in compound sentence you are not allowed to repeat the same subject you are not allowed to repeat the same subject so uh, in compound sentence you know the first sentence the subject of this first sentence is he and the subject of the second subject is he so you can uh, you need not to write down this subject again but you should think that there is a subject here so he is ill this is a sentence he went to college this is a sentence you know both these parts are independent both this part are independent actually no part no part is dependent on uh, any part that means this is independent part this is independent part you are adding with a conjunction and this is coordinating conjunction this is coordinating conjunction in this way you can make compound sentence that means in simple sentence you have to write down a single subject and a single final verb in complex sentence you have to make you have to uh, make two part one part will be dependent on another part that means you will get two clauses here one is uh, main clause and another is subordinate clause if you want to make compound sentence of course you have to create two clauses and both the clauses are independent and this independent clause clauses will be added with coordinating conjunction in this way you can make simple complex or compound sentence these are the uh, actually primary conception about making simple complex and compound sentence and in the slide you can notice the criteria of simple sentence in this way and complex sentence that means in this complex sentence you are getting a principal clause and a subordinate clause and i told you the uh, actually what is the definition of clause and how will you uh, actually know the, how will it be confirmed that it is a clause or it is a phrase in a clause you will get a single subject and of course a final verb but in phrase you will get that it is a, it is an idea phrase is just an idea having some words that means phrase is a group of words having an idea but clause is a complete thought though sometimes it may depend on other but it will you will get the full criteria of a sentence in clause and here you were getting uh, the subordinate if you want to make any subordinate clause you need some conjunction subordinate conjunction uh, likely if though although as because since so that so dot dot that until till unless when why who which where in this way you can uh, make any subordinate clause by using this type of conjunction and compound sentence you know in compound sentence i told you that uh, you can make a compound sentence by adding more than one principal clauses 
That means all the clauses will be principal. No clause will depend on any other clause. So you can uh, make a compound sentence by uh, by using coordinating conjunction like and, but, or, yet, and so. Therefore, not only but also in this way you can make compound sentence. And you know, uh, actually, uh, there are some technical problem for that reason. I cannot express it. Uh, the uh, font is very oblique. Uh, font is all right. Okay. You know, you can you can memorize the criteria or the system of interchange uh, from simple complex compound by memorizing these lines in a rhythmic way. But in a rhythmic way, you can actually memorize these things. If uh, if you feel that it is very important, just inform us, we will provide you manually. And these are the examples of complex sentence to simple. And later, I will try to make you understand how will you interchange these sentences. And these are the way the boy is so dishonest that he cannot, so that he cannot speak the truth. Actually, here you may notice this is a structure, so dot 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 that. You have to, of course, accept some fundamental rules. That means if you find any uh, sentence just adding with so dot dot that, of course, you have to, of course, you have to use two dot dot two for making a simple sentence. This is a fundamental rule. So you have to memorize some fundamental rules. I will provide you everything manually. And this is from complex to compound. For from complex to compound, you can memorize these rhythmic lines. And these are the examples. And you know, I think it may work a bit. You can get help from this uh, from this diagram. In this diagram, you can notice this very easily. These are very fundamental things. What are they? from compound, complex and simple. This is the very simple diagram. That means if you notice any compound sentence with but, if you notice any compound sentence with but, of course, you have to make that compound complex by adding the subordinate conjunction although or though. That means by using although or though, you can make complex from compound if the compound is, if the compound is uh, actually um, added with but, that means coordinate conjunction but. And of course the simple, for making the simple sentence, you, you should use in spite of, despite, and uh, possessive uh, plus verb plus ing like that. That means in spite of my going, in spite of my going, because when you are making any simple sentence, of course you sometimes, in this respect, sometimes you have to make phrase from the subordinate clause. So though I went there, if you want to make phrase from this clause, of course you have to write down in this way, in spite of my going, in spite of my going, these are the very fundamental rules, you have to memorize, and this is very easy to memorize this diagram, so I will provide you next, and then or, you can find out, uh, or, actually or denotes negative meaning, or denotes negative meaning, so if you find any compound sentence using or, you can make it complex by using, if plus present plus future in actually uh, this is very common thing we have learned it from the very uh, early stage of our student life if you get or in compound sentence of course you should think that it is it has a negative meaning it has a negative meaning so in this negative for this negative meaning you just use if plus present plus future this is structure but of course you have to use negative that means if plus subject plus negative verb subject plus verb that means the Main clause will be like that, subject plus verb. If you do not go, I will not go. That means the first sentence, uh, the subordinate clause, you have to uh, use negative in subordinate, uh, in subordinate clause because you are getting or. And if you want to make simple sentence, of course you have to use without because without denotes negative things. Without denotes negative things. That means or, compound, if plus, present using negative, complex, and of course without plus ing, simple. Then uh, verb plus and. This is very short and it is very easy to memorize. If you practice in this way, I think it will be easier for you. 
and of course you will get your scare you will get removed from your scary mentality that means sometimes the students are very scared thinking that i have to make complex compound oh it is very tough no it is very easy if you just think it very minutely and if you follow the diagram it is it will be very easier for you to actually uh, to memorize or to build up a confidence on simple complex compound very and uh, bhar plus and if here bhar plus and it indicates that you are getting the affirmative sense affirmative sense do and die that means you have to do you have to die there is no negative sense here so for this affirmative sense you will write down e plus present plus future and of course you will ensure the affirmative form of this uh, sentence to make a complex sense and when you will write down a simple sentence you have to use by plus ing by using by plus ing you can ensure that it has a, a affirmative meaning and you are writing a simple sentence then uh, subject plus and uh, when as since verb plus ing if i give you some example uh, from each structure it will be very easier and of course in my next class i will uh, try to make you clear about all the structure by giving example for each and then and he wanted and not only about us and in this actually this diagram you can make a copy of the diagram and you will try yourself you will try yourself to uh, uh, giving uh, some example to give some example to create some example from this diagram it will be easier for you and i think you should try it first then in the next class of course i will uh, try to uh, make you clear this is the primary discussion from for uh, transforming from simple to complex complex to complex in this way and then we will go in detail you know if i ask you to make any simple sentence what will you do if i want to make any simple sentence what will you do of course you should think that the given sentence the followed sentence of course the sentence will, will be either complex or compound that means if i ask you to make any simple sentence to change any sentence into simple that means the given sentence may be complex or may be compound that means if you want to make any simple sentence from complex or compound at first you have to be determined that you have to ensure one subject and one finite verb that means if i want if i ask you to make any simple sentence you have to ensure one subject and one finite verb suppose the given sentence was complex in complex sentence of course there were two subjects and two finite verb you have to make one you have to make one finite verb that means this is a problem for the students from sometimes arises what is that two subjects two finite verbs in complex sentence i am asking to make you simple sentence that means you have to transform two into one that means you have to ensure one subject by deleting one subject you have to ensure one finite verb by deleting one finite verb no actually if you do these things that i have to uh, actually delete one subject and one finite verb then i can easily ensure simple sentence no sometimes the meaning will be uh, disappear you will not get the clear meaning what will you do then you know there are three criteria of any noun or pronoun what are they subjective or nominative case objective case and possessive case 
suppose if i say he it is a subjective case it is a subjective form if i say him it is objective form if i say he is it is possessive form so if you want to actually change the subject if you want to uh, change the subject into another order you can make he to him or his according to necessity if you think that i want to actually delete the subject i don't want to use the subject in the sentence because i need only a single subject you can transform the subject into him or his that means objective or possessive case according to necessity and then finite verb you know there are five forms of a verb there are five forms of a verb you know uh it is easier to say to explain what is finite verb what is non finite verb if you get the complete thought it indicates that it is a finite verb if you don't get the complete thought it indicates that it is not finite verb it is non finite verb but actually by getting the structure you can also denote whether it is a finite verb or not you are getting five forms of verb suppose go goes went going gone these are the figures these are the forms of a verb that means a verb can be changed into five shapes this is base you are adding s or es this is past form this is ing form this is past participle form that means these three forms these three forms actually indicate that it is finite verb this true form indicate that it is non finite verb of course you can change any finite verb to non finite or non finite to finite how if i say i go this is a complete sense he goes he went in this way by taking this three shape you can easily complete a sentence but just think he going he gone no this shape does not indicate that it is finite verb because you are not getting a complete thought by using ing or past participle if you want to ensure this form as finite verb of course you have to add helping verb auxiliary verb what be verb and here have verb that means by adding helping verb you can ensure this shape as finite verb but this shape ensures finite verb without using any helping verb and you cannot use even here any helping verb and you know so if i want to make any complex sentence to simple sentence we will get two finite verbs we have to make one finite verb and the rest one should be non finite suppose if this one went this is a finite form and finite verb if i has to ask to make it non finite what should i do i will i can do it in this way going gone or to go these three forms are non finite so finite verb can be transformed into non finite in this way finite verb can be transformed into non finite in this way so when you are asking to make any simple sentence of course you have to make non finite verb from finite in this way actually whether you will use ing past participle or to that is dependent on the necessity on the meaning so actually it will depend on meaning whether you will use uh, ing past participle or infinitive to plus verb it will depend on the necessity so in this way you can transform complex sentence to simple sentence that means for making a simple sentence of course you have to ensure a single subject and single verb in this way 
when I saw him, he was talking to Rohim. Here, you are getting two sentences, both the sentences are complex. How? We are getting two parts. This part is completely dependent on this part. That means you are getting one subordinate clause and one principal clause. And the second sentence, of course, you are getting one subordinate clause and one principal clause. If I ask you to make simple sentence from this sentence, what will you do? Here you are getting two subjects, two find verb, two subject and two find verb. You have to transform it into one subject and one find verb. The most important thing, interesting thing is that here you are getting two subjects but actually these two sub subjects are not same, it is different but here you are getting the same subject is repeated here. The same subject is repeated here. So if you just detect any uh, subject from here, it does not indicate that the rest one, the rest of the uh, verb is done by whom. You need not to be confused because one subject indicates the two verbs are done by one subject. But here, saw and was, these two verbs are done by two uh, different subjects. So, while making complex from this uh, simple, from this complex sentence, you cannot actually remove this subject or this subject. Of course, you have to take these subjects in simple sentence. That is what will you do? What will you do? At that time, you cannot delete any subject. You have to uh, write down these two subjects at the same time for making simple sentence. But when you are getting the same subject for making simple sentence, you need not to repeat the same subject. What will you do then? You will ensure the finite verb into non-finite. I told you, see, you can write down seeing a tiger. This subordinate clause is turned into a phrase, seeing a tiger. That means you have already deduct uh, one subject because the subject is same and this finite verb is transformed into non-finite verb. So the, the subordinate clause right now is turned into a phrase seeing a tiger and the principal clause you need not to change any part. You can just write down in this way. Here, you are getting a single subject, a single verb. That means, it is a simple sentence. What will you do here? Actually, what will you do? Here, you are not supposed to detect any subject from here because these two different actions are performed by two different persons. So, you are not allowed to actually omit any subject from here. What will you do then? you can uh, actually choose two ways. What are the? What are they? Actually, by taking the first subject, you can make the finite verb non-finite. And, of course, the another way is you can make the subordinate clause a phrase by using the first subject into possessive case. Like that, when indicates time. So, you can write down here in this way, at the time. At the time, when indicates at the time. When indicates here a conjunction, but it is a phrase, at the time. At the time of my. At the time of my. I here 
is turned into my. At the time of my seeing a tiger. Actually, when this type of question is given to the students, they are becoming confused. You need not to be confused. If you find any different subject, you can change the subject in this way. You are making it possessive at the time of my. Why are you using at the time of in place of when? Because when indicates time. So by deleting, by omitting when, you are using the phrase at the time. At the same time, at the time and when indicates the same thing. But when was a conjunction, at the time was a phrase. At the time of my seeing a tiger, this part is used as a phrase. And then, then the next sentence, the principal clause, he left the place. In this way, you can make simple sentence from complex. You can make simple sentence from complex. So, when you, when you will find any complex sentence by uh, using the subordinate conjunctions, actually, the subordinate conjunctions indicate time, action, reason, uh, condition, many things. And when you will write down you will transform complex sentence to simple. Of course, you have to find out the meaning of the conjunctions. And according to the meaning, you have to use phrase like during, at the time of, because of, in this way. So, I will discuss you later in the next class. I will discuss it in detail in the next class. Just today, I just want to recap the class again. My dear students, I told you that you are not passing a very hilarious time. Uh, all of you are passing a very monotonous time. And I told you that time is the most valuable blessing of Allah. If you can use the time properly, you can be successful. So don't waste your time idly. Please try to use the time very properly and very appropriately in your house. And I know it is very tough to pass the time, but you, you should think that you are the asset of the future generation. I know, actually, uh, don't spend the time idly. Try to use the time every day by staying at home, because the people, all the people of the world are passing these days, but we hope that within a very short time, we will be able to overcome the situation. And of course, we will sing together, we will sit together, and we will play together. My dear students, please don't be disheartened. Try to use the time properly. And you know, I know it very well. I miss you always because I just want to see the faces of my students. I cannot see your faces. So I am missing you very badly. But I believe uh, and I have a confidence upon Allah that within a very short time, we will get a good environment, we will get a very hygienic environment and we will laugh together, sing together, sit together, we will learn together. My dear students, I just want to recap the class again for your memorization and I know that actually in this way I will not be able to give you the 100% uh, uh, for the students uh, because actually I am not getting the questions from you. So I am not sure whether you are clear or not, but I want to recap the class again within a very short time. That means today we, we are trying to focus, focus on simple complex and compound sentences because in our examination we have to answer from this question. Not only that, in our daily life we need it very badly because for speaking, for writing, we need to know we have to a good confidence on simple complex and compound sentence. In simple complex and compound sentence, one thing is very common. What is that? In simple sentence, of course, you have to follow a structure. What is that? A uh, single subject, a single final verb. Single subject and single preferred verb and definitely completed thought. A completed thought. That is called simple sentence. And complex sentence, in complex sentence, you will get two parts. And one part will be dependent on another part. That means here you will notice a clause. That means here you will find a subordinate clause and a principal clause. What are the criteria of a clause? Clause, actually, in a clause, you will get a subject and a final verb. That means you will get the same uh, same um, characteristics 
uh, of a sentence in a clause but it is used in a in a sentence as a part of a as a part of a sentence that means in complex sentence you will get a subordinate clause and a principal clause how will you notice how will you be confident that it is a subordinate clause in subordinate clause you will find the subordinate conjunctions which will actually paralyze the part that means though it has a subject a final verb it cannot ensure the completed thought like as he was ill as he was ill does not indicate or does not ensure the completed thought so it is a subordinate clause and the rest one will be principal clause and then compound sentence the compound sentence is added with coordinating conjunction that means is clauses is coordinating clause that means principal clause the principal clause clauses will be added with coordinating conjunction like and but or yet therefore in this way you have to add that means all the parts will be independent in this way you can make simple complex and compound sentence when you will be asked to transform these sentences from simple to complex complex to simple complex to compound compound to complex you have to memorize you have to think the criteria that means when you will make any complex sentence of course you will make two parts one part will be dependent another part will be independent when you will make any compound sentence you will make two parts and two parts means here you will get two in two independent clauses and when you are asked to write down any simple sentence of course you will ensure one subject and one final verb in this way you can write down simple complex and compound sentence my dear students in the next class i will try my level best to make you understand uh, how will you transform this sentence that means the rules or way of interchanging these sentences dear students i am telling you again i miss you and wishing you best of luck and expecting a very bright morning very soon a bright morning very soon we want to learn together thank you thank you my students thank you